get into the fast lane of labor disputes as South, Southern governors slam the brakes on union ambitions, sparking a fiery clash over factory floors and political landscapes. <laughs> All right, all right. Republican governors from six states opposed to the United Auto Workers, the UAW, efforts to unionize car factories in the historically union averse South, sparking debate ahead of a critical vote at Volkswagen's Chattanooga plant. Let's go. Now you can't make this shit up, David. Yes. Yeah. It's the it's the same old thing, uh, you know. They they come in, uh, the UAW comes in, and they they try to push everybody around. It's a right to work state. We I mean, a right to work. We have a right to work. We have a right to not be in a union. So, you know, look, Chattanooga in Chattanooga, they're going to vote, and it's going to come. But if they're if they're conservative like they should be they will vote you know vote no on it but well actually it, it never happens right here's an update for you joel oh okay well, I'm it's taken and the workers in this volkswagen chattanooga plant voted overwhelmingly to unionize under the uaw the last Volkswagen auto plant from around the world, the last one to go union. So round of applause for the newest entry into the UAW, the Chattanooga uh, workers uh, for Volkswagen. Congratulations, they did vote. And uh, this has been something that um, the UAW has said uh, that they would do after their wins against the big three automakers. Uh, they said they were they were going to start going to those southern auto plants and union, unionizing them. And uh, here we go. First one falls to a union victory. Well, you know. I just feel it personally and you know there your money is your money and if you need somebody else to get you more money then you have a problem you know you have a problem with your 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 company anyways you're not you know, so listen I just I pay my I want to pay my taxes I don't want to pay my taxes and my dues and my this and my that you know and this is and 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 if they don't get the results you're hoping for then your money's been invested and you can't get it back. I think this is a win for the common man, the average Joe. And as automakers are making tons of money, record profits, why not share those profits with their workers? It, now, Volkswagen did give their workers at the Chattanooga plant uh, an 11% uh, pay raise. Uh, however, it did lack the pay that the Detroit automakers give to their workers. Well, when, and, uh, working mm -hmm. in Detroit and working in Tennessee are two totally different things. If you want to get... I don't of, think so. I, listen, the cost no. of living in Tennessee is a whole lot cheaper than it is in Detroit. You, you sure? I mean, Detroit, I mean, granted, Detroit is on the upside of a, of a uh, renaissance, of a renewal. 
Um, but I wouldn't say I, I don't know the numbers, and we can look at the numbers. I'm talking. Um, if you look at taxes and cost of living, cost of living expenses are higher up in Detroit than they are in Tennessee. So don't. I don't know. We may be. I mean, yeah, this, may, not, this is not comparing apples to oranges. When you take one state that has high cost of living and a state that has a low cost of living, and you try to say, "Ooh, an eleven percent." No, let's, no, no, no. Let's look, let's look. Let's look at the cities themselves. Let's let's go even more. You know, micro here. You know, let's look at the cities themselves. Chattanooga, Detroit. And again, I don't have the numbers. We don't. Have, I, I don't have the numbers in front of me. But I would think it's comparable. Oh wow! <laughs> Detroit is not Detroit. It's just not the Detroit of old that, that we Detroit. Did. But Detroit. Detroit, Detroit has a, extra taxes, and the state has taxes, and the taxes are much higher than they are in Tennessee. And okay, so the government. So isn't that a big the, for the, so the, the government? So the government burden is less because you don't have unions and you have less regulation. Then you have, you know, uh, so again, I'm talking about Detroit cost of living is different. Like you're paying a lot more for gas in Detroit than you are in Tennessee, South Carolina. So you're so paying this a is whole good lot less. You're paying a whole lot less. So you're trying. So making to, so making more is, is good news for for right. Chattanooga, for 11, right? For an eleven percent raise, you know, and you're saying it, it's not where Detroit is. It's like, yeah, it's not where Detroit is because it that that would be insane. I mean, I I would I'd be making. Oh my goodness, they're making so much money. That I'd be paying you, is, you is that to work for me. <laughs> is that wrong? <laughs> Listen, you can't. You, Don't you, you want to make as much money as you want? But and the Volkswagen the living, get the more bang for your buck. But you also have to think that Volkswagen has chosen to put that there because the cost of living is cheaper. So they, they can have employees that they can hire more employees. Uh, I, I don't know the argument. The, the argument's going to be the same all the time, David. So we're going to have the same set on this. Look, I love the people in the union. Don't get me wrong. I, I don't have a problem with the union people. I have a problem with the concept of a union because it's not fighting. It's not fighting the battle the way it used to. And auto, auto. Not everybody can get into the auto industry. You know, there's a lot of industries out there. There's a lot of industries out there that are like we're going to have fast food uh, unions and fast food is now, you know, being driven out of places because the $20 you know, minimum wage is, you know, it, it's it's ridiculous out in California. They're, they're shuttering. They're shuttering, literally shuttering, shut, shuttering there. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. They're, they're, they're restaurants. So it's probably, it's probably a good thing too. I mean, fast food is not really good for you, but that's a different story. But it's not even fast food places. There's a, there was a chicken, uh, there was a chicken joint that was on, uh, on the uh, news that, you know, it wasn't a fast food chicken place, but they came to work the day after Easter and the place was closed. Done. I saw that. And, I saw that. And, and, it, and it's just sad. But they, congratulations. They, didn't pass, they didn't want to pay their workers. They didn't want to pass on the cost like they typically do to the consumer. So they decided to close. Yeah, it's just, it's not, it, it's not going to, you can't make the numbers work. You you can't make the numbers work. You know, there, right, has, to right. be, there has to be a saying, it there has to be a saying, like for every burger you sell, for every burger you sell, you can pay one hour for an employee. Uh, that's about what's going to end up. So your fifteen dollar burger is going to pay for that one hour. That, uh, <laughs> you know. Sure. And how many burgers do you sell an hour? Maybe twenty. Yeah. yeah, but you're not, not too shabby. Hey. <laughs> Another burger yeah. pays for 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 you know the the, the food and and produce and 
and another burger pays for you you're know, selling one burger insurance. at fifteen dollars an hour. Fifteen dollars a burger. You're selling one burger an hour. <laughs> I, I think I think you're making the argument for even more. You know, sell a twenty dollar burger. Listen, you know? I'm just saying if you're you know I, I'm sorry, but if you're in a job that's an entry level job and you expect to be paid a living wage then that is going to hurt your economy period so i i get it i get it but those are supposed to be jobs just to you know get yourself started get on your feet um yeah, yeah this uh this administration is part of the problem and no they all are pushing inflation making it really more difficult to to live and then more 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 the government keeps asking for more so yeah, I don't know how much more we can give, but you know, I, I congratulations to, uh, congratulations to the UAW and uh, you know governors beware, this is your new norm, and uh, you just Shot have to, is coming after you. He's unionizing across the across the south. Yeah, you don't need those. But you, you know, they're just going to move to Mexico and Canada next. Thank you very much. You can't make this shit up. You know, they any way to save a dime, you know, they're, they're going to find a way. So because uh, they want to make sure that you don't have to pay, a, a, you know, an extra twenty thousand dollars for their their two dollar vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, Volkswagen. I'm just not a fan. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I, I, I would buy one of their diesels. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Wow. Can't, can't keep going down that road. Uh, Tesla's on sale. Tesla's on sale. If you, uh, you know, a 3% drop in price uh, for Tesla so they can uh, get some of so them. So is their stock. Uh, hey, listen, more Tesla's on the road. It's better for, it's better for Elon. So. More, more Tesla's and our insurance goes up. Yes. Yay. Great. Hooray. Yeah. Hooray for Tesla's. Well, welcome to Florida's insurance rates. <laughs> yeah. You can't right. make this shit up, David. Uh, that's a good one. Do uh, you have anything else you want to say other than we need these people to like, share, have their comments, call me uh, call me an idiot, you know, call me. If you call me an idiot, just tell me why and make sure that you bring facts, you know. Yes, that would help. Bring your facts, that, not your feelings, <laughs> because we really don't care about your feelings. We just want to have an honest conversation about uh, the facts of the, uh, of the issues of our topics. And, uh, Please, again, share this with uh, your, your friends, your family, your, those politicals that you know who would uh, benefit from this uh, type of dialogue. And uh, we really appreciate you, our community. Uh, we're your political innovators, and this is You Can't Make This Shit Up.